Hello everyone, welcome back to another unboxing. This time I am reviewing a special order item, the BP-44 anti-infantry car for the German armored train. This uh, doesn't have any box art obviously because it's just a normal special order box, but let us see what is inside. Now on the internet I haven't seen much regarding Flames of War armored trains. But I really love the idea of them, so I'm going to give it a shot to try and build a full armored train. Okay, so you got your usual little box in here. And inside that, oh, you guys know the drill by now. It's me being terrible at opening these boxes. But um, the BP-44 was created in the early 40s based on Polish and Russian car designs or not like not like car car but like train car designs and here we Jesus this is a really big piece of resin so they're kind of gigantic and the artillery turret does come off and it's got the little slot for the magnet and everything you got just a simple pin for your anti-aircraft gun, so you could probably just slot either one in that. It's really nice. It's really nicely cast. It's got all detail. I don't see really any screw-ups on the top, at least. Looks like you got a little bit of flash right there, but that's about it. Uh, it looks like a... I don't know. It looks like a train car. From the pictures I've seen online, this is pretty identical. I really like trains. Uh, well, I should say, I really liked trains when I was younger, so. I knew about the BP-44 long before Flames of War, and I was really excited to realize that it actually had model. So inside, you get two options for anti-aircraft gun. You have the, I believe that's the 2mm anti-aircraft. Then you've got the 3.7mm anti-aircraft, slightly bent. You got the crewman for oh yeah looks like it's a quad mount for the the two centimeter. Uh, these can serve as a kind of anti aircraft or an anti infantry role. Do you remember though they're deck turret guns so if they're right up near you you cannot see them because a deck turret turret can only see what it can see like a uh, true line of sight wise. And it looks like this. The actual gun for our armored train. They are 10.5 centimeter guns. So the way an armored train works is that you can either use them as direct fire or as a artillery weapon. And they never count as moving, including for artillery bombardments. Oh, it looks like it comes with a magnet too. That's awesome. Sorry. Um but so you never count as moving, first of all. You never count as firing more than one weapon. And if you're firing artillery bombardments, all your guns count as firing two guns. So it's really effective. And one of these, and an artillery car, and a locomotive, are all only 165 points. Confident veteran. Anyway, uh, like if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Let me know what is up, what to review next. Actually, I've got I've got a bunch of videos on the way right now. So, because it was just Christmas, and I had myself a very Flames of War Christmas. So you guys stay tuned. Over the next few days, I'm going to be releasing a ton of videos. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.